so. You've just taken on a client or you're at a new job and you've been given a Perforce login. Never used Perforce before? Don't worry, I'm here to help you out. Before you start, make sure you have your server address, username and password. Step one, download P4V, also known as the Helix Visual Client. Step two, install P4V. Step three, open P4V. Step four, enter the server IP address you were given into the server field. This is usually an IP address with a port. Step five, put in your username. Step six, where it says workspace, press new. Step seven, when prompted, enter your password. Step eight, when the workspace menu opens up, set the workspace route to a location on your hard drive where you want Perforce files to go. Step nine, enter a memorable name for this workspace in the workspace name field. Step 10, press OK. Step 11, press OK. Perforce will now log in and you'll see the main Perforce UI. It looks very 90s, doesn't it? So, step 12, press the Get Latest button to get the latest changes to the Perforce depot. This probably will take some time depending on the size of the files. You'll see two tabs in Perforce, Depot and Workspace. Depot is what the server has and Workspace is what your local copy has. Step 13. Once completed, press the workspace button and find the U project file of the Unreal Engine project and double click it. Or you could just open it up via your explorer. Step 14. When the project opens, wait for all your shaders to compile. Step 15. Once they're done, press the source control button in the top ribbon and select connect to source control. Step 16. Under provider, select Perforce. Step 17. You should see your server and username auto-populated. If not, enter them by hand. Don't forget the port number. Alternatively, you need to make sure that Perforce is logged in and running and that the project you're running is in a Perforce server. Step 18. Press Available Workspaces. If you've done everything correctly, you'll see your workspace. Select it. Step 19. Press Accept Settings. You're now connected with Perforce. From here, there are a few things to do in your day-to-day -day workflow on a project. When you start your day or after a short break, you should make sure that Unreal Engine is closed, go to P4V and select the Get Latest button. This will stop merge conflicts if everybody does this. Another way to reduce merge conflicts is when you have an asset you'd like to edit, make a minor quick change and save it to check it out of Perforce. This means that other people can't edit it. Just make sure that you communicate with your team and make sure to submit your changes as short a time as possible so team members aren't locked out of their files for too long. At the end of the day, or before a break, you should make sure you have submitted your changes. Go to the source control button within Unreal Engine 4 and press the submit to source control. Fill in a helpful change list description, select the files you'd like to submit and press submit. This will send your changes to Perforce and allow other users to regain access to the files you've edited alongside your changes. And that's all. You've now understood the core use of Perforce and you can go ahead and use it in your client work, your work, or wherever else someone's given you a Perforce server. I'll speak to you soon.